sometimes when Tristan has to leave to go run an errand, I record another video because then she can't tell me to not record another video that day. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is bring in different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Now, before I get started, real quick announcement. I know the holidays are coming up and you're wondering what to get your family and friends for Christmas. Well, did you know, did you know that we got a merch sale going on over at the Rewired Soul merch store, all right? Look at this, look at this. You know that beautiful cat I keep showing you, Wyatt? Well, Tristan actually drew this, modeled after Wyatt, and it says, stay in the meowment. Do you get it? Do you get it? All of my people trying to meditate or practice mindfulness. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Use coupon code SOLUTION. I'll put it down in the description and in the pinned comment. All right, go check it out. Merch sale going on for, I don't know, up until Christmas. Go check it out. So yeah, contrary to what the, the title seems like of this video, I'm not hating on YouTubers, all right? This is just a video about perspective. Perspective is a huge, huge part of our mental health. I've made videos about perspective before, but today it kind of sparked, you know, me wanting to talk about perspective again after I was watching Philip DeFranco. And to just kind of give you a point of reference when it comes to perspective, right? I, you know, working in a, an addiction treatment slash mental health tr uh, facility, Perspective is something that just always fascinated me, right? You could have two people who show up on the same day, go through the same treatment, have the same therapist, everything's the same. One person says, this place sucks, I hate it, therapist sucks, Every, everything sucks. Worst experience of my life, right? You have the other person saying, this place saved my life. Like, that is just some of the most fascinating stuff on earth, right? Like, how is it that some people have this positive perspective and other people have a negative one? So, I was watching Philip DeFranco today, and they were talking about the YouTube story thing. And uh, <laughs> I actually tweeted at YouTube again. Um, YouTube's been holding out on me. My channel's growing and uh, yeah, I don't have that story feature yet. I don't know why. I would love to give you guys stories. But anyways, Phil DeFranco highlighted this tweet. And two, some creators saying, is this really where YouTube should be focusing? With creators like Crank Gameplays writing, I really love how YouTube spent their time making a story feature instead of fixing the things that are broken, like sub boxes and recommendeds and just the site in general. And that was just really interesting to me. Like, as a newer YouTuber who's starting to grow, it's really fascinating to see what other YouTubers complain about, right? Because my experience is so much different. So this YouTuber was talking about, you know, the recommendations and the sub feed and all, all these other things, right? But like, my channel has grown almost 20,000 subscribers in the last month, all right? That is insanity. And I love all of you who are subscribed and coming along this journey with me. You're all amazing. But a lot of you have told me that I was recommended to you. Right? So when I see, when I see another YouTuber saying that the, the, the recommendations isn't working, I'm like, huh, why is that? Because it's working out really well for me. Now, that's not to say that YouTube is flawless and things aren't working. But something that I try to do, I talked about uh, locus of control a little bit in my Sky Williams video, but let's talk about it again. What can I and can't I control? A lot of you don't get notifications, even though you have uh, notification bells turned on and stuff like that. And some of you are taking this in control too. So the way I take it in control is I'm on Twitter and every time a new video goes up, it automatically posts to Twitter. We have a Discord server now. Every time I post a video, it goes up on Discord. Like if you're following me on other platforms, you're in control and you don't miss any of my videos, right? There's the third video today. You might've watched all three of them. So that is the way people like me and you are taking control of the situation that might seem outside of our control. And I hope that makes sense. Now, something that I've noticed and this is this is something I, I mentioned in a Jacksepticeye video I did a while back. Our brain focuses on what we train it to focus on, okay? So if you focus on the negative, if you keep focusing on the negative, you're going to see the negative, right? And I, I 
I do research. I'm a very analytical person. I try to find out what's working, what's not working, whether it's with my own mental health, whether it's with YouTube, whether it's with my job, whether it's with my relationship, whatever it is. So when I see other YouTubers complaining about certain things, I go and I check out their channels. Um, I have a lot of other YouTubers uh, who ask me for advice and I go check out their channels to see what they're doing. And the number one thing I see, especially, especially from big YouTubers, is the, the, the lack of effort that they put in, okay? So let's just, Let's have a quick little nerd talk about how YouTube's recommendations work. YouTube recommends things based on the algorithm, right? So one thing that I have going for me is that I'm tying in mental health with YouTubers that you're already watching or that you're looking at or whatever. So what's happening is I put all that information in my title, my description, and my tags. So the algorithm's like, okay, this person just watched a video about that person. Maybe they'll want to watch this video from The Rewired Soul. I put all that information in there so the algorithm pushes it out to you. That's why you're getting recommended videos. But I often see YouTubers who are complaining about the recommendations, and then I look at their titles, descriptions, and tags, and they're doing nothing. They're doing nothing. I'm like, how is the, the, the algorithm supposed to recommend your video if you're not giving it any information to recommend your video to other people. Does that make sense? So people are so focused on thinking that the system is broken that they're not figuring out ways to use the system and get their, their content out to a larger audience. And this is just something I want you to take into consideration. Like, are you hitting roadblocks at your work because you're only focusing on the problem and you're not focusing on the solution, right? Um, I sent out an email, by the way, if you're not signed up for my email list, it's in the description, but I sent out an email this morning, or was it yesterday morning? I don't know. But it was titled like, your way of doing things doesn't work. And a lot of it's because we're so stubborn. We're so stubborn and we keep trying to do things our way. So in our mind, our perspective says the world's broken, but in reality, we're being stubborn and we refuse to change. I hope that makes sense. But aside from this perspective of YouTubers, just a few other things regarding my channel. Let's talk about perspective some more. So I had a comment not too long ago, um, earlier today, and they said, Chris, I absolutely love your channel. I'm new here. Everything's fantastic. They said, but watching your channel is becoming like a part-time job. Uh, maybe you should upload less. This is just some food for thought, right? And that's very interesting. That's an interesting perspective because I see other comments that say, I love how much you upload. I absolutely love it, right? So all of you, um, just so you get into the mind of Chris real quick, I, um, for some of my political news, I follow the channel Secular Talk. Um, he has a podcast, Kyle Kalinske. Um, he's not always right. I don't always agree with him, but I usually follow him. Um, but anyways, he uploads three, four, five, six videos a day, right? So I'm like, okay, I can do that in the field of mental health. So that's kind of where my brain is. But anyways, just think about that perspective. Somebody thinks I upload too much, other people love how much I upload. Another great one, this is one of my favorite ones, is my voice, okay? My voice, and by the way, for any of you who are self-conscious about it, like, hopefully this can help you. Like, I do not care what people think about my voice. I think my voice sounds weird and nasally. A lot of you have like said in the comments like, hey, I love your voice. I love your voice. It's so soothing. It's calming. Um, I'm always interested to hear who you think I sound like. One of the last comments I read said Vince Vaughn. I get the big show a lot. I get Andre the Giant. Uh, <laughs> I get all sorts of stuff. But the interesting one is like what people say, you know, I sound like is in my throat, okay? But anyways, what I'm getting at is there's so many people who say how much they love my voice right, and how soothing it is. And then there's other people who are like, you have the worst voice on earth, right? There's other people who say like, my voice makes them, you know, wanna like shove a pencil in their ear or something crazy. They say, your voice is annoying. What's wrong with your voice? And what I'm always looking at, I'm looking at the different perspectives. And hopefully this kind of helps you out. Like just re realize like, not everybody is going to like everything about you. The same way I don't like everything about everyone else. That's totally cool, that's totally normal. People are going to have different perspectives. And I think this is really important because something that I'm trying to get you all to do, which you may not realize, is I want you to share your stories. Because each of you has been through some type of struggle and that is powerful. That can inspire somebody. That can give somebody the motivation they need that day. But what I hear all the time is, 
My story's not that good. My story's not that inspirational. That's all subjective, right? Your perspective of your story, it might not be that great. So for example, for example, let's go back to my drug addiction. If, and I teach this to my clients all the time. Like if I went to someone out on the streets, just some random person, right? Or I'm in the grocery store. Let's, let, okay, let's, let's do this. Let's pretend Chris is walking through the grocery store and there's just some nice woman, you know, maybe she's a mom and has kids and you know, she lives in the suburbs and everything's great. And I walk up to her and I'm saying, hey, excuse me, miss. And she's like, what's going on, kind sir? And I'm like, I have not crushed up and snorted an Oxycontin in over six and a half years. And she'd be like, uh, okay, weirdo, right? But if I walk into a room filled with recovering drug addicts and I tell them that, they're gonna applaud, they're gonna give me hugs. On my birthday, they give me a little coin. You see what I mean? So don't think that your story is not inspirational because some of it, some, some, some of these stories are very inspirational. Like for some of you, if you got out of bed this morning, that can inspire somebody who hasn't been out of bed. For if, if you've gone through like any type of challenge, maybe you just went through a breakup or divorce or family issues, but you're still getting up and taking care of yourself or taking care of the bills or whatever it is, these are accomplishments. So just remember perspectives are always different and you need to use your story to go inspire people no matter what it is. I'm not telling you to make a YouTube channel, but I love when you do but start a blog, join the Discord. We have um, an area for blogs and videos and artwork or whatever, and it's just really inspiring. Like, you guys inspire me to be a better person each day, even though you may not realize it. Just reading your comments, and some of you just share your stories in the comments, and I love you for that. Like, when I read your comments, like, it inspires me. I, I read your comments about sadness and tragedy, but like, I, I don't see it as sadness and tragedy. I see it as overcoming. You know what I mean? I see it as perseverance. So if, if nothing else, if nothing else, let's do this. If nothing else, let me just tell you this. Share your information in comments or Discord or wherever it is because you're inspiring me. If it doesn't inspire anybody else, it inspires this guy, all right? <laughs> anyways, anyways, that's all I got for this video. Let me know down in the comments below. Like. Let's talk about perspective. Like, is there something that you notice that maybe you don't like that other people do like or something that maybe your glass is half empty on and other people are half uh, glass half full or vice versa? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. Don't tell Tristan. <laughs> a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And go check out the Rewired Soul merch store. You can click or tap right there. Use coupon code SOLUTION for 10% off, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.